you mentioned the academy. Is the academy like 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 boot camp of the Marines or something where you're running and you're, you're doing push-ups and you're getting yelled at, stuff like that? Or is it yeah. something different? No, so the academy, so there's a few different academies. The, a lot of the, my buddies, they like to try to make fun of me. Well, they don't try, they do. I went to, <laughs> um, I went to Brookline Fire Academy, which um, you got Boston, you got Stowe Mass Academy, the State Academy, and then you got Brookline. So out of the three, I would um, and I visited, I have visited both other academy, um, the other two academies, and that not that I say that they were tougher. I would say Stowe was a lot more strict. They ran their formations like military. Um, not that I agree with that because it's not the military. We do run a chain of command like the military, but um, to answer your question, the academy I went to was just. Grown men, strict. Um, you know what you're here for. You know what you signed up for. Pay attention, follow instructions, and get it done. Whatever they ask you, you're gonna do. Don't, don't know. There's no playing around. There's some academies that, as soon as you walk in, they're treating it like boot camp. They're reminiscing on their military days. I'm not a veteran. Shout out to all those who served, though. I got much fam a lot of family members who served, and I Children. respect it. Yeah, so I respect that, but I wasn't in that lifestyle. I never done it, and I and I actually appreciated my instructors for not treating it like that. They they were um, extremely humble and extremely honest about the career. They taught us, um, but yeah, we would do PT every morning, right? You gotta be in shape. Yeah. Um, you gotta do certain drills. Yeah, everything was formation, but it was not like boot camp. Um, the police academy, I hear they they run. They run it um, like that I, from what I hear. But from what I experienced, no. It was, um, this is what you're doing. You're signing up to be a firefighter. We're going to go in the burning building. You're going to learn about smoke and not being able to see your own hands, learning how to believe in your senses, how to believe in your um, your hands and how to feel things and, and have confidence. Basically, close your eyes and make your way around this house. And when you get a glimpse of some, some um, clearness, then even better. But that's basically what they taught us. And, um, you know, we train and we continue to train um, at work now. Every day we have a drill. Monday through Friday we're drilling. Um, so even though I know they see us out there on the bench and stuff and they say, oh, <laughs> Yo. you're not, you're not, um, you never know when the bell's going to hit. And uh, whether you're showering, using the bathroom, number two or whatever, you better be ready. You get up and get dressed and, um, you respond to whatever call there may be. So it was, you know, the academy to answer wasn't military, but it was very, um, my instruction, my instructors were very um, professional and honest and humble. I, you know, I'm, I was actually thinking about them the other day and how grateful I was. Um, I got to go pay them a visit and actually drop off some food for them. But um, that's what it was, the academy. That's uh, to, uh, to showing it down. Mm, okay. So do you think the academy like translates to to what you're doing now? Because like if I like you don't get to practically practice with burning buildings, like but probably going into a burning building is crazy, bro. Yeah, so the so the academy, um, no, so it's 50-50, right? Because you're reading a lot of books, you're studying, you're studying and you're learning about fire, what causes fire, mm -hmm. you're learning about a lot of past mistakes. Hopefully you we don't repeat them. And then in a burning building, you know, scenario, it's pallets that are burning. It's not walls. And so, you know, you kind of got to try to be as realistic with it and try to mentally stay trying to, I used to, what I would do is mentally say in my head, I know this is the academy and I know it's pallets burning, but while I'm crawling and I'm looking for the fire to extinguish it, I'm pretending like I'm in one of the homes in Chelsea. I'm pretending like there's someone on the other side that needs help. So you mentally just got to go with it and do your best to pretend like it's real, a real scenario. You got, because you practice like you play, right? Yeah. So if you go in there saying, oh, I know I'm in the academy. This isn't real fire. Um, well, you might get hurt or you might just be a loser at it. You might, you shouldn't even be doing it. So um, I did take it serious. And so did the other brothers that I graduated with. They took it serious. Um, we all had that mindset. Um, so it went well. But no, it's not like the real deal, right? Like um, 
like school, they teach you school and then you come in the real world and it's really not like it, but some things make sense. When you go by, you know, math wasn't so interesting to me, but now running a business and owning a house and paying bills, math is very important. Yeah, you yeah. Got to make you sure where know. your money's going. So little things like that did make sense in school to, to do some math. You know, maybe the game around the world was just fun, but now when the cashier tells me the price is $70 and I know I have in my pocket 120 I got to do the math. So it's like playing around the world in my head real quick before I pull out a calculator, right? So that's a little example I can explain it by. So no, it wasn't like the real world, but some scenarios were.